If you have an old flashlight that you want to convert to LED, all you need is the right bulb. Here's what I did to get some use out of this old police issued Streamlight 40 battery workhorse. I ordered this 12 volt conversion kit bulb from Amazon. It's a high power 3 watt LED bulb for 4 DC battery type flashlights, but will also work on 3 to 6 cell type C or D batteries. I'll leave a link in the description. I'll put it aside for now and take the old bulb out of the streamlight to compare the sockets. As I mentioned, this is a 4D battery streamlight made in the 1980s and mostly used by law enforcement and security guards all over the country and abroad. These things are very heavy. Before removing the batteries, here's what the light looks like with the old bulb. First thing is to take out the 4D battery by unscrewing the cap here and slide them out. Believe it or not, they have an expiration or best used by date of March 2011. Then I unscrew the lens top all the way off. On this unit, this also adjusts the beam. Once the bulb is exposed, unscrew the ring that holds it in. and then pull out the bulb. Placing them side by side to make sure they are similar in design and size. Now let's insert the LED bulb in the flashlight socket. I align the slot on the rim of the bulb ring to the brass strip on the socket. Then screw the bulb retaining ring back on the socket. Then put back the 4D batteries and screw the cap back on. Make sure the bulb works and then screw the lens cap back on. And now we can do some comparing. Let's keep in mind that this has 4D cell batteries that expired in 2011. That's not bad. The LED looks much brighter. With the 4D batteries, I'm looking forward to some extended life from the LED as well, versus the old standard bulb. Great light output and good color, and it's not too blue. Not up to today's latest technology standards, but I'm impressed, really and puts this almost 30 year old workhorse back into service. I think I'll be converting a few more of my old flashlights. They'll come in handy when we lose power during storm seasons. And that's about it. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you along the way. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. See the description for links of tools and materials used in this video. And you all have a great day.